Namaste. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Uma Inyasivam, and on behalf of the Association of Performing Arts of India, I'm delighted to welcome you all tonight. Thank you for all your time and the support for our mission and our music. Tonight's concert is a tribute to one of the greatest Saro player, Ustad Ali Akbar Khan Saab, who recently passed away. We would first like to thank the Broward County's Board of Com County Commissioners, as recommended by the Broward Cultural Affairs and Funding Arts Broward for the grants. Our special thanks to Mary Beck, the Executive Director of the Cultural Affairs, and Jim Sharma, the Grant Director for their guidance for all these years. We want to recognize our dedicated donors, Dr. Shanti and Manju Agarwal, Mr. M. Ali Ansari, Mr. Manohar and Mohini Atavale, Mr. Kashyap and Meena Bakhai, Dr. Udayan and Meenu Bhadri, Mr. Garrison Ford, Garrison Elrod, sorry, um, Mr. Vasishta and Kisida Mashbunda, Mr. Sanjay and Shanu Baharia, Mr. Deepak and Pragna Parekh, Mr. Saransuk and Loma Patel, Dr. Vinod and Ranjan Patel, Dr. Naresh and Hina Patak, Mr. Suresh and Ila Sangani, Dr. Chandar and Geeta Shekhar, Dr. Surendra and Poonam Sarpal, Mr. Khanubai and Niruben Thakar, Dr. Anil and Sne Verma, Mr. Jitu and Sonal Saveri, with, because without whose support we cannot bring such quality program. We want to give you an update on the current situation on the county and state grants. Starting next year, there will be a 27 to 30% cut in the Broward County grant due to decline in, um, in the sales tax and property tax and due to the economic hardships. The Florida Department of State grant for cultural support may be eliminated too. So on the other hand, the expenses for the insurance, printing, hospitality, and marketing are increasing. As you all know, our general admission ticket price is, has remained the same for the past 11 years due to the grants we received. So in order for us to bring you quality programs, we need your financial support now more than ever. Please give us your tax deductible donation to API in any amount so we can continue to bring you such quality programs. Also, please um, help us by giving us your um, current email address and also forwarding our email regarding the concerts to your interested friends and family. As a courtesy to our artists, please do silence or turn off your cell phones, and no audio or video is permitted except by the staff. Our special thanks to Diana Akers, Jeff Beal, Michael Stock, Chris Gonch, Jason Hughes, Laura Quinlan, Niti Shrile, and Rajani Shah for their publicity. We want to thank Steve Rohrberg for sound, Mark Demeter for video, and Joe Marino for the photography. Last but not the least, we are grateful to all the volunteers for the valuable time and service. And um, on the last page of the brochure, um, we have the upcoming events for 2010. We have one scheduled for February 20th with local artists. And April 10th, we have um, a vocal concert by Mithali Banerjee Barmik. And September 4th, we have the slide guitar concert by the Grammy Award winner, uh, Pandit V. M. Bhatt. Uh, so please do keep your calendars marked for that. Now we will introduce the artist for tonight's concert. Dr. Rajiv Chakrabarti and Reena Srivastava have been initiated into music at a very tender age by their illustrious father, Pandit Robi Chakrabarti, who was a senior disciple of Ustad Ali Akbar Khan Saab. Dr. Rajiv Chakrabarti started learning Sarod at the age of six under the tutelage of his father. He received vocal training from Padma Bhushan Pandit Nyan Prakash Ghosh. He is also trained under, under the tutelage of Pandit Anil Palit. He is blessed with the guidance of Pandit Buddhadev Das Gupta, Professor Ajoy Sinha Roy, and Pandit Ajoy Chakrabarti. Dr. Chakrabarti earned his degree in Western classical music from Royal College of Music in London with distinction. 
Ravi began performing at the age of nine. The Prayag Sangeet Samiti, Allahabad, awarded him gold medals as Sangeet Prabhakar in 1989 and Sangeet Praveen in 1991 for his understanding of the in instrumental music as well as its theoretical aspects. He has performed in Europe, USA, and Canada in numerous concerts and musical festivals, which include the Bath Festival, Chester Summer Festival, Vienna Festival, and Edinburgh Festival. Dr. Chakrabarti is an academic instructor in premier universities in India as well as in abroad. He uses technology to teach music across the globe. Dr. Chakrabarti is associated with universities like Harvard University, North Carolina State University, Minnesota State University, University of Pittsburgh, Carnegie Mellon, University of Manchester, just to just name a few. Dr. Chakrabarti is also an impressive composer and a conductor of music and has lent his creativity to a host of films, documentaries, serials, stage plays, music albums, music videos, fusion bands, and dance drama. His Kudito Passion, based on Tagore's story, was premiered in the US in 1994 and won the first prize at a national convention. Reena Chakrabarti Srivastava. She was born in a musical family too. She, she started learning sitar at the age of five under the tutelage of her father. She performed on the stage at the age of nine too. Her performances earned her rare reviews in India as well as in abroad. Her extensive tours have earned fame and recognition in India, Europe, USA, and Canada. She has performed in almost all major festivals in India and abroad, starting from the Dover Lane Music Conference to the um, Chester Festival UK, Bath Festival UK, and Bangkok International Festival. During her 2008 UK tour, she worked extensively with Bournemouth Symphony Orchestra. She has a number of releases to her name in the form of CDs and cassettes. Rina's unparalleled execution and style has made her stand popular amongst music lovers and critics and have mesmerized listeners all over the world. Pandit Shubhain Chatterjee bases his style of playing to Lucknow Gharana that he learned from his illustrious guru, Tabla Maestro Pandit Swapan Chaudhary. Not restricting himself to one single gharana, Subain went on to learn the intricacies and beauty of other gharanas that he introduces in his playing, which has made his style so unique and distinctive. Subain has accompanied several outstanding musicians like Pandit Bhimsen Joshi, Srimati Girija Devi, Pandit Jasraj, uh, Srimati Sh Shobha Gurtu, to name a few. Shubin regularly participates in World Organization of Music and Dance, founded by renowned guitar player, Mr. Peter Gabriel. By collaborating with such distinguished artists such as Paul Horn, Mr. David Cosby, etc. Shubin created India's leading fusion band, Karma, in 1985. He formed another fusion band called Friends of Drums, with renowned percussionist Siva Mani to help the lesser known musicians with talent sharing stage with renowned ones. Now, we'll introduce the artists and then we would like you to uh, relax and enjoy the evening. Thank you.
Good evening, friends. Uh, it's always a pleasure to come back here, and uh, it's always nice to play for such a beautiful organization, the organization which has a lot of respect, warmth for musicians. I think a big round of applause for Appai. <laughs> because uh, we musicians travel a lot and uh, when we come back come here from all the way from India the very first thing that we look for is the respect and warmth and love that we always get here and thanks to Bharti ji and Mr. Choksi and all the members of this beautiful organization who have been tirelessly working to promote the rich heritage that we belong. And today is a very special day for me. Although I've been coming here for the last so many years with so many fantastic uh, musicians, but today is definitely a special day for me because today we are playing a concert for such a legendary Maestro, that will, we will, uh, it can never be replaced. Although sometimes we say that such legends as Ustad Ali Akbar Khan Sahab is immortal, these musicians don't die. So we often don't write let before their names. So I think Ustadji, Ustad Ayyavar Khan Sahib is still with us somewhere here, blessing us and uh, showing us the right way to go forward. So with Ustadji's blessings, we will start our concert and um, in this tour we have we are bringing in some very good CDs with us uh, thinking about that maestro so it will be available for sale during intermission so if you like it please have a look at it and uh, get it signed by us after the concert and uh, today there will be two halves of the concert. After the first half, there will be a short, uh, what you call, a talk, as Bhartiji said, on our music a little bit, maybe about our instruments or maybe about Indian music. Rajiji will speak about it because he has done a doctorate on this. Uh, subject uh, so he will talk about it and but it will be very short and then we will uh, proceed with the second half so I will hand it hand over the microphone to Rajiv Ji to say uh, what kind of what what ragas he's going to play for tonight thank you very much
friends we'll start our evening with with the basics yaman one of the most favorite track of any north indian classical musician because this concert is also to and we will be remembering my father's guru ustad ali bar khan sahab and as we have started our musical journey with this rag so we thought this will be be fitting for the occasion alap followed by jor then shubhan ji will be joining us in a seven beat cycle rupak followed by another composition in 16 beat cycle drut or faster tempo tintal finale with jhala rag yaman thank you auditorium lights of oh, this auditorium lights Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, and we will get back to you after a short intermission of 15 minutes. Uh, before Rajiv ji talks about uh, a little bit about our Indian music, we will tune up our instruments because in Indian music there is a saying that Indian musicians tune their instruments before the concert, during the concert, and sometimes after the concert. So they are the boss, and I'm the chauffeur. But uh, that's the fun uh, of Indian classical music that uh, what we call is we learn from our gurus how to improvise, how to improvise within the parameters of the specific ragas that is uh, the melodic structure that is fixed and within that framework they improvise. And then we have the tala structure, the rhythm structure which is fixed. In the first half, we started off with a seven-bit tala, and all the talas have names, like rakas. In the first half, the tala, the first tala was based on a rhythmic cycle having seven beats, which we call rupak, R-U-P-A-K, and that is fixed. If it's Rupak in Fort Lauderdale, it will be Rupak in Atlanta and also in Calcutta. And the syllables will be fixed. But within that framework, we improvise. And that we have to learn from our gurus or the teachers how to improvise. So what we learn is uh, what we call is guided improvisation. It's not that we're just running here and there. We know exactly what we are doing. It has been taught by our masters, and that's the tradition that we belong. It's like the Ganges flowing from Himalayas, and it's flowing and flowing and flowing, which we call Parampara. We call Parampara, P-A-R-A-M-P-A-R-A. -A -A -A. That is the tradition. That is the beauty of Indian music. Same ragas if Rajiv ji and Rina ji, what they played today. If we have concerts tomorrow in Louisville, Kentucky. And if they play the same raga, same tala, the presentation will be different. So that is the beauty. It's always fresh. So now I will ask uh, Rajiv ji to say a few words. We will go on to the second half. Welcome back. you have to pretend is it? Uh, so you know why we are not friends we are not the reason for that Shubhenji was just saying have you noticed during our concert our audience friends whenever the tabla plays they are full of applause so just, I shouldn't mention jealousy, but maybe that's the reason. Uh, <laughs> 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 
this appreciation was for my honesty. Anyway, uh, in, the, in a bit more serious note, uh, we will not take long because uh, uh, today we are more in a mood of uh, exchanging our musical ideas through uh, our instruments. Uh, that is much easier. Uh, just to share with you about, because quite a few of my friends, they have asked me, I mean, like, why do you play so long? Why, why, why? I mean, what do you do? I mean, you say improvisation and that. So if, if I just put it in a nutshell, like what we try to do, raga. Say, we are going to play a rag named Shubhen. It's just like, first what we will do is, we will say, today we are going to present you Shubhenji. Now, our duty is, during the alab, when we really play slow passages, at that time, we are just portraying him. We are just painting the picture of Shubhenji. First, the most distinguishable feature is the face. Then you can know exactly which person I'm talking about. Then, limbs and everything. During the alap part, what we do is, the rag is nothing else but personification of a mood. So, after alap, the jor comes in. Jor where the rhythm actually comes in, but not in a cyclic order. Dun, dun, dun. Dun 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 What is that? The behavioral approach of Shubhen. How he walks, how he talks, how he behaves. Chalan or the entire because until rhythm comes in, there is no life. Life starts with that rhythm. In your part, we just explore those features of that particular character of that rag, that how it behaves. Then comes the cut, where the tabla also joins us. And what is that? Then we discipline ourselves in a cyclic order, like we have a seven days a week or 24 hours in a day. So we take a seven days cycle, say Rupak. So in that framework, how Shubhenji will behave. In the morning, he wakes up. Sunday, very relaxed day, or Monday, he really needs to get up and so at that time it's like two in this case it is three friends talking with each other i say something then he says something with his syllable while i'm playing he's keeping the cycle like dha then then He's very subdued at that time. Why? Because when we speak at that time, if he also speak, then it will not make any sense. But his, those intonations, dha, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. sometimes he agrees, sometimes he doesn't. <laughs> then I come back and keep the cycle, or Rinaji keeps the cycle, Shubhenji plays something. Whatever he has to say. We start off, with a very slow tempo, gradually we keep increasing that. Then we switch over to another cycle because we cannot portray Shubhenji only in one particular uh, atmosphere. How he behaves 
in his uh, home is different from how he behaves in his office. So, you know, then we select another cycle in a faster tempo, Drut. There, the same thing is going on. It's, it's communicative music, conversation going on. Gradually, we finish off with Jhala. Actually, the concept of Jhala or the last section where we really play fast, if you notice, this concept has been adopted in our music from the Aarti, you know. After the final prayer, I mean, when we do our puja, in the final prayer, we do the Aarti. This Jhala concept actually came from that Aarti because we are, because the first music was introduced as the vehicle for prayer. Later on, it became entertainment for the sake of entertainment. So everything is focused towards that area. I mean, like uh, we are giving our homage, our prayer to that Radha, our final prayer. Actually, in the left hand, we are playing the Alap again. But in the right hand, because the movement is so fast, so that's why always the most of the attention is here. So finally, we finish up like that. This is the basic story of our Raga music. And hope we will meet some other time with um, more to discuss about uh, the beauty of this wonderful form of art. Thank you very much for being patient. And <laughs> over to Rag Jog, Shubhanji's favorite. Short a lap, followed by a composition in medium speed, Tintal. Then we take on from there because often we have to listen to Rinaji first, you know, ladies come first. So. So, thank you very much.
we just have another 10 minutes time for Adhun. So we will conclude our recital with Adhun, where you will hear some glimpses of few. It's based on some folk tunes of Bengal. Thank you. Before Rajiv Ji and Rina Ji uh, finish up the tuning of uh, this uh, lighter melody of Dhun, uh, I will take the opportunity to thank uh, Bharti Ji, uh, and, uh, and all the members of uh, uh, IPA. Uh, for organizing such a beautiful evening for us and uh, I think a round of applause for you guys. You have been a wonderful audience and uh, from musicians we would definitely request you to kindly um, support the, the work that Bharti Ji and all the members of this beautiful organization are doing. Because without your support, uh, this beautiful organization won't survive. And um, you can hear many such beautiful musicians coming from India and perform here. So please support this beautiful organization. That's, that's from our side. I thought I should tell you.